so um good afternoon everyone so um this video is like seriously overdue because i have gotten this message from about two days ago but however because of circumstances and schedule it i was unable to say anything but there are three things that the lord spoke to me and he said that i should ensure that this go public so people can hear it and people can know that it was said so that when things happen nobody can say that they have never heard or they were not warned and they have never heard this message before because as god said in his word that he will never destroy a city or a nation without warning so god wants me to send this message out to jamaica for them to know what is serious to happen and i want every believer that to watch this video to share it i can recall sometime last year if you will scroll through my feed you will see it sometime last year the lord says to me that i must make a video i am not a facebook person that likes i do not like the spotlight but what i do is that when god says something to me i try to be obedient because i do not want anybody's blood or any nation blood to be on my shoulder so whatever god says to me i try to do i am not the spotlight person but if god say do something then i will do it so last year the lord says to me i want you to make a video and i want you to tell jamaica that i said that they must set their house in order and if you'll scroll through my feed you will find that message and i came online and i did and i spoke out my heart as the spirit of god would have led me and if we realize that covid is on the rise and the next thing that we would realize that earthquake are hitting jamaica as never before so the other night i was in my bed and the lord said three things to me he said that Montego Bay, especially Montego Bay St. Jean, is in trouble. And he says to me that if Montego Bay St. James don't begin to repent, then after he's through with Montego Bay, then Montego Bay will no longer be a parish. The Lord says to me what he is about to do to Montego Bay, not even half of what has been done to it, he won't be compared to it. Because he said that the sin of have reached up to his nostril he said that blood has been touching blood and he said that he has had enough of it and what he's about to do is about to shake Montego Bay as never before so I want every person to share this video so people in Montego Bay can start to repent because we have to understand that repentance is key God spoke to Jonah and he said go known to Nineveh and warn the people tell them that I God say that they need to repent and the people eat the warning and they repented and God had mercy upon them so that is the first thing the second thing is that we are about to experience something the entire jamaica is about to experience something while i was there i saw something in my spirit and what i saw was the earth open and while the earth was open all was being swallowed into the hurt i don't know what is about to happen i am not here to tell you what is about to happen but i know that something is about to eat us if we do not begin to repent in chocolate and ashes god said to me i have been sending warning upon warning and instead of the people to take it they have taken me for a joke but god says to tell jamaica that the time of joking is over because he is about to move as never before in jamaica we believe that because we have praying churches that we can get away with everything but it is not so this time around if jamaica does not repent that what that what that is what is ahead i am sorry for us as a nation because when god is through with us we will not be able to recover from this we we we, we have been trifling with the mercies of god for for a time now and god says that he has had enough the sin of Jamaica has came up to his nostril and he is about to move. The second thing is that God says that he has been trying to speak to the leaders of this country. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. And he said, no one has been listening to him. He said, the, the more he speak to them, God said, he has been laying conviction upon the hearts of these leaders. And he said, he has been doing things to get their attention. And God said, instead of the people, the, the, the leaders turning to him, 
they are doing their own things. And God said that the leaders of Jamaica need to lock themselves in their secret closet and seek them because what is about to do, they will be left in a state of confusion that not even they themselves, the knowledge and the wisdom that they think that they acquired will not be able to help them. So God is saying he has been trying to reach the leaders of this country and I don't care who they are, I don't care what they are doing, I want to say to the leaders of this country, if you hear this video, God says he has been trying to reach out to you and he says to tell you to lock yourself in your secret closet and seek him because if you don't seek him, then a great confusion is about to come up on this nation. But I say to you today, as you hear this message, heed to the warning, Jamaica, 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 hallelujah jamaica god is calling you jamaica god is calling you jamaica jamaica god is calling you to repentance and he said if we do not repent what is about to do to us will not be able to compare to that of 80. But as you hear this message, I pray that you will turn to God wholeheartedly. God bless us. God bless us. And, I, and as I have said before, that God is saying to the leaders of Jamaica, he has been trying. If you believe that anything that has been happening to all leaders is by chance, well, you have a next guess coming. God has been trying to reach you. And if he cannot, if you do not heed, then, then, but take my foolish advice as some people would say, because most people don't believe when God sent warning, you know, but take my foolish advice that God is saying to Jamaica, it's time to repent. God bless you. God keep us as we seek to repent so his mercy can be extended. God bless you. Shalom.